It's okay, baby. Don't cry. It's okay. I'm your father. You just saw a young father embarrassed, not knowing what to do with his crying baby. The quickest way to stop is tossing it back to its mother. As human vision develops, fear follows. In the little eye of the baby, everybody's just a stranger except his mother. Fear is kind of a nature safety mechanism to protect creatures to survive. Imagine what would happen if you don't have the emotion of fear. Most of us would have failed to survive before we reach two. There's no doubt that fear keeps us safe from dangers. However, these days, I feel like we are fear streaking all the time, just like a crying baby, but not having a mother around who will comfort him. Living in the age of capitalism, we believe most of the comfort comes from financial security. In social phenomena, we can observe how financial anxiety affect people when they are making important life decisions. Think of the young people preparing for civil service exams. I'd like to view it as a way of managing their fear of unstable employment. And you must have heard of Tampo generation that has given up three things in life, marriage, childbirth, and buying a house. It's such a pity that they anticipate their future will be insecure and make plans to reduce uncertainty. If those cost more than they can afford, their decision may be right. At this moment, let's have an experiment. I can instantly make you feel frustrated and helpless just in three steps. All I need is a calculator. Are you ready? Step one. Regarding childcare and education, you'll need to you'll need as much as your 10 year annual salary. How does this sound? Uh oh, I see some of you are already shocked. Step two, as for housing, you'll need to save as much as your 11.4 year annual salary. Oh my God, half of the audience face turned pale. Now step three is far more serious because we all get old and we'll retire eventually. Nobody can get away from this. When you are retired, you'll need as much as 906 million won for maintaining the average life. Oh no, I see all the audience are devastated, feeling lost. When data is provided with figures, we are likely to believe it as truth, undeniable fact. And we see people apply the data on their life cycle and always find themselves falling far behind the standard. Wait a minute, who's making profit out of this? Who's making goods that claim to be the solution to our fear? Mass media, insurance companies, investment companies, and capital markets. But actually, there's an important and critical flaw in this calculation. We humans are not a simple dumb machine that only output what they input. Humans are marvelous creatures 
that <clears throat> always desire to go beyond the limit. So if you want to estimate the future cost, turn off the calculator and make today the best day in your life. Because life is not a pile of bills you pay, but a series of work creating values out of it. I'm afraid we are thinking too much about the future. Future plans, future worries that haven't come yet, but those things occupy our present life. Think of the baby he used to cry in fears, but soon his curiosity drives him come out of the box. You see, the baby enjoys what he's seeing and ventures into his surroundings. More ventures, more fun. We must have forgotten what we learn when we we're a baby. Fellow Toastmasters, if a baby can do, why can't we do it? So go ahead and just do it. Thank you. <laughs>